everybody. We got all done. Lake City Marina. It was a little bit of a tight turn there to the uh, fuel dock. I want to record with my phone and not know what I was doing. There were boats coming in and out. So we're going to continue on down to Alma today. It's kind of windy here on Lake Pepin today. We have a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind. There's a ton of sailboats out. I wish I had my mast up and I could be out sailing. That would be amazing. It won't be too long now and we'll have our mast up, so that will be good. The plan is to step the mast in Alton, Illinois. Um, since it's a little chilly up here, I want to have it down and be able to just cruise and not have to worry about waiting like an hour or two for any bridges or anything. Just go. Because we're going to have to motor anyway. So, might as well do it. And then once we get the mast up, we should be able to motor sail the rest of the way. So, we're heading out at our planned five miles an hour. We do have a pretty strong wind today, though. So, we'll see what we do for gas mileage as we're going. So, wish me luck. I'll come back with any updates we get along the way. Well, here we are. We're getting down to the end of Lake Pepin. Back there is where we've come from. Where we anchored overnight was up over there. And now we're going to be getting back to the Mississippi River. And then we're going to go by Wabasha, Minnesota. And then we'll end up in about Alma is the plan for the day. Hopefully we'll get through the dam. Depending on the time of day and where we are at, uh, we'll decide where we're going to anchor for the night. So, that's the plan for the day. Alright, here we are, down at the end of Lake Pepin. Here we have the channel markers. Again, picking up. back from where we came and we move south. Everybody, we are getting up to the bridge in Wabasha, Minnesota. This one's a pretty tall bridge. No worries about height or clearance under this one.
I'll have to say I have to laugh about these marks on the bridge for clearance. If the bridge is up there where it says 30 feet, this town is going to be washed away. I don't really know if that bridge would be Pretty cool apartment building there, right on the river. That'd be a nice place to live. I wonder if the docks are included. In Wabasha, Minnesota. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's some of the bluff or a house. Oh, I think that's a bluff. I thought it looked like somebody's house. Wow, somebody's got a really big house. So we push on to Alma. All right, everybody out there in YouTube land, we are getting to the lock and dam here near Alma. So I radioed ahead. They said it's gonna be about a half hour, 45 minutes. There's a tug in the lock. So I'm on the other side of this little island. And there's, I'll be outside of the channel markers and I'm going to anchor there is the plan. Probably right about there. And then I should be good to go. The barge will come out. Markers. The barges run on the inside of the green and the red markers, so if you anchor outside of them or hang out outside of them, you know the barge isn't going to get you. Alright, the barge is all done. There's another barge that wants to come northbound, but they're going to let us pleasure crafts go through first. There's one other houseboat back here. Crazy those barges, they get them so they fit exactly. You watch here, we are almost putting the shore dead on. You should be out in a couple minutes here, and on in. I'm all done. Wasn't too bad at all. So when we come out here, we gotta watch out. There's a barge out here in the front. So we're gonna have to be careful. It's really nice having that boat beacon app with the AIS on it. Because then I'm able to tell and look ahead if there's boats coming to the locks or not. And then I'm also able to tell uh, if there's one in the lock or not that I'm coming up to, so then I kind of have an idea. It's a lot safer when the barges are going up and down the 
River. So, Boat Beacon has an app if you guys ever are interested in where the rest of the dam is. Pretty cool. So, I'm going to try to make another 10 miles before the sun goes down. Might as well sunset, might as well make as much time and uh, miles as we can. Getting a little sunburn today. I'm like Kevin there where you're going right into the sun the whole time and the way they end. Doesn't get you if you're sitting down. So, here we go. Alright, here's the barge that's going northbound. Four by three, it's not too, too big. And here is the power plant by Alma. Well, this is definitely a beautiful end to the day on the river. The sunsets and the sights are quite, quite amazing. I'm going to push on a little bit further and then I'll anchor here before it gets a little too dark. Probably just pull outside the channel markers here. We're not going to be by any town or anything. And uh, just pull over and have a nice night out in the middle of the wilderness. Alright everybody, that's it for the day. We're on Deer or Mule Deer Bend. Kind of 15 miles, well, about 10 to 12 miles south of Alma. I'd rather underestimate mileage than overestimate it or state it. So we tucked in behind the channel buoys so that we won't have to worry about any barges or anything. We're in about 8 feet of water. It should be a good night. I'm going to get a good night's sleep tonight so we can get up in the morning real early again and head out in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us out. I'll see you guys later.